It is Galatasaray free, Manchester United free, Manchester United flopping, going up twice, twice, two goals up, twice, and then after that, that Ending up drawing the game, you know. This team keeps scoring goals away. Three goals away from home. Goals, goals, goals. But can't fucking win a game away from home in Europe, you know. This team, I said it to myself when we first, before we approached this game. I told me, I told my friends, I was like, you know what? I have no good hope. I don't have hope with this team, you know. I, I don't have a good feeling. I'm not confident. I don't think Manchester United will win this game. But for Manchester United, who would have thought they'll go 2 0 up against Galatasaray? Then 2-1, then 3-1 up again. And then end up losing, the, I mean, end up drawing the game. 3-3. Free, free. This team, game management is a fucking problem with this team. Game management does not exist. Game management from the bench to the pitch does not exist in, in, in this team. You know, what a fucking shambles, man. You know what, I'm absolutely embarrassed to be a Manchester United fan at times. Especially with games like this. We are not a Champions League team. Europa League team at best guys because i don't think this team can progress we don't deserve to be in this competition we need to remove ourselves from this competition what an absolute embarrassment today you know it started off so well guys and it, i'll be honest with you it started off so well we was like happy as larry you know in that first 45 minutes guys you know i thought manchester united gave the ball away so many times how is a team like manchester united Unable to control a game against Galatasaray. 42% of possession that we had at the end of the day. You know, this team was so open at times. Like a polo, you know. Legs wide open, you know. Like a loose lady. Loose lady. Legs open. Everyone running through. That was Manchester United today in that midfield. That midfield is horrible at times, you know. You know, so damn open. And I look at my manager thinking, can you not control your team? Can you not manage your team, your game management? Why are we so poor defensively? Why can't we sit in the two banks of four, yeah, and, and, and play a 4-4-2 for two, two banks of four when we're playing defensive, when we're defensive, when we're in a defensive shape? This team, this manager is costing us as well. Oh, Nana as well is costing us as well in the Champions League. But yes, in the first 45 minutes, as I was saying, guys, which I thought we gave the ball away too much, you know, Gennaro, with that goal, you know, Alejandro Granacho with a brilliant, brilliant finish, a brilliant assist from Bruno Fernandes, and a finish by Alejandro Granacho in the top corner. Ref goalkeeper had no opportunity to save that, you know. Imagine that it was good. One it up, Granacho was like, calm down, guys. Calm toi, tranquille. You know, you don't need to go crazy. Yeah. Yes, we kept ourselves calm because we've seen Manchester United. Go goes up, and especially we see Manchester United go two 0 up, and that's what they did. They went two 0 up. Bruno Fernandez, my God, a show with that elegant, lovely pass, and Bruno Fernandez t passes the ball, nudged it forward a bit, and then wham, strike, top bins, long range bullet strike, a goal that will make you scream. And again, I said it before, we see Manchester United go two 0 up and fuck shit up. By the, by the end of the half. And again, a free kick. We saw it coming, you know, because Galatasaray was alive and kicking. Hakim Ziak with a free kick, low free kick that beat Andre Onana so damn easy. Went underneath the players and went into the bottom corner as well. Like, and I just look at this team, I'm thinking 2 1, I think, oh, oh, we're in trouble. Like, and we was in trouble. Luckily, it was half time. It was 2 1 to Manchester United, and we was thinking to ourselves, you men's got to compose yourself, manage this game through, manage out, just do us a favour and manage this game. Do you know what Manchester United did? They said, you know what, let me get you super excited, let me get you super hard. 3-1 Manchester United, you know, Arrow and Bissaka over a low driven cross to find the feet of Scott McTominay and Scott McTominay finishes it off well. It was 3-1, it was lovely and rosy for Manchester United and it was all good in the hood for us. We was like, yep, Thank God. Thank God. But guess what, yeah? You know, Manchester United don't make things easy for us, Man United fans. They make it difficult for us. Hacking ZF again with a free kick from the side this time, you know? And oh, no, no. Beaten easily. I know um, Anthony Marshall tried to head it away, but it didn't get anywhere near him. <sighs> Ziyak making it 3-2. And I thought to myself, 
you know, we're gonna concede again. And guess what? United conceded again. Yes. Yes, they did. You know, Akta Koglu with a wonderful finish. Beating Andre Onana again with a fearsome finish. Manchester United defence crumbled. You know, we were so open at times, you know. And look at my manager and thinking, you, you're all to blame as well. You cannot manage games out. You cannot see this team out. See games out. And there's players as well, they don't even have the character to finish games off properly. Especially in big games. Do you know what? We need to come out of Europe. Come out of Europe completely and think about what we want to do next season, you know. Because with this club, with this ownership, with this team... We can't do it, man. We can't. It's horrible, guys. And I'm so annoyed and I'm so pissed off. And I know you guys are pissed off, you know. Players today as well, player-wise, because I thought after the half-time, after full-time, free, free, I was raging Manchester United fans and I was thinking, look at the players and I was thinking, you man suck, man. Uh, you man truly suck. Right? You look at players today, um, I'm about, I thought he did well, but at the same time, he didn't really provide much. Even the same thing with Scott McTominay. Yes, he got the goal. He's getting forward. But defensively, keeping the ball offensively, he let us down too. You know, it wasn't that great. You know, where was Bruno as well? Bruno got the goal, but where was he most of the times, you know? Like, seriously, we need to wake up and smell the coffee because these men, they can't do anything in midfield. I've never seen a team that can't keep the ball for more than 5, 10 seconds, giving the opposition the ball away. Over again, you know, like his chuckle brothers, to me, to you. That's what the type of football match we was watching today. But guys, I'm pissed off, man. I've had enough of this team, man. I've had enough of the manager as well at times. I've had enough of certain players, you know. They're not good enough, you know. Oh, they're just not. And of course, you've got Ganacho who scored his goal. But after that, in terms of decision making, yes, he was taking shots. We didn't provide much. Anthony as well. You know what? I have zero confidence in the next game. We're not we're not going through. We are out of Europe completely. We had a terrible performance in Europe, guys. It is what it is, guys. We've got Newcastle next. A draw here. Probably another defeat at Newcastle. And that's it, man. A big up to everyone that's, that's here right now, man. Let me know what your thoughts of today's game. You know, my man in the match today goes to nobody at all. Donkey of the match goes to the goalkeeper, Andre Nana. But you guys let me know who your man in the match is and your donkey of the match is. Because this is your boy, Avon Spice. You know, remember to subscribe to Manchester United, I mean, Red United TV on, inst on Instagram as well, on YouTube. Follow Red United TV as well on Twitch. Follow Red United TV on Rumble. Follow Red United TV on on Facebook. It is what it is, guys. I'm so annoyed. I've had enough of this team. I'm going to go and get some rest, eat some dinner, you know, and just drink something strong. It is what it is, man. Big up to everyone. As always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out and angry. Peace.